Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back in with another sequence video. So, um, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, you know, also has it. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as afflicted him and made no account of his labor. So at this point now, we don't care, okay? Um, we've realized now all of our labors are ultimately to help fight against God. And so we're not doing that. And so we stand in the, in the great boldness, okay? And even the truthers are going to hate that. So just be aware of that. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so, so far beyond all that they look for. So here's a rec, uh, reference to salvation. And it's going to be fearful for, you know, majority of the earth. Okay. Um, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. So they're going to start realizing what's really going on. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of God and his lot is among the saints? Okay, they're going to like scratch their head. Okay, and that's in verse um, 5-5, five, five, okay? 55 is a, is a good number, you know, for uh, God's elect. Um, and that's Wisdom of Solomon 5-5. Five, five. Therefore have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness has not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. Um, this is in verse six. Okay. This is judgment for the unfaithful. Verse seven, we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way, but as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. Um, uh, what hath pride profited us and what good hath riches, um, uh, with our vaunting brought us, people are going to start questioning, you know, and realizing what's really going on. All those things are passed away like a shadow and as a post that haste is hasted by. And as a ship that passes over the ways of the water, which when it has gone by, the trace thereof cannot be found, neither the pathway of the keel and the waves. Or as when a bird hath flown through the air, there is no token of her way to be found, but the light air being beaten with the stroke of her wings and parted with the violent noise and motion of them is passed through. And there and afterwards, no sign where she went is to be found. Or like as when an arrow is shot at a mark, it part of the air, which immediately cometh together again, so that a man cannot know where it went through. So this is now referencing America being destroyed, you know, by these so-called arrows um, led by, you know, Iran. Even so, we in like manner, as soon as we were born, began to draw to our end and had no sign of virtue to show, but were consumed in our own wickedness. But the hope of the ungodly is like dust that is blown away with the wind, like a thin froth that is driven away with the storm, like as a smoke which is dispersed here and there with a tempest and passeth, passeth away as a remembrance of a guest that tarrieth but a day. And so this, during this time here, this being described here is ultimately judgment for the unrighteous, you know, and then they're going to be destroyed. But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward is with the Lord and the care of him is with the most high. Therefore they shall receive a glorious kingdom and add a beautiful crown of the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them and with his arm he shall protect them. He shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemy. So now this is Christ returning with his elect to destroy. Okay, he shall take to him his jealousy for a complete armor and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies, God's enemies. He shall put on righteousness as a breastplate and true judgment instead of a helmet. That's in verse 18, 666. He shall take holiness for an invincible shield. His severe wrath shall, shall he sharpen for a sword and the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Okay, and so just know that okay this is again prophesying a fight you know in heaven against god and his elect and then people on earth then shall his right aiming thunderbolts go abroad and from the clouds okay this is above and these so-called ufos as from a well-drawn bow shall they fly to the mark okay and then that's double meaning because the people with the mark of the beast okay they're not going to miss okay they have good aim and they're powerful like it says here in verse 22 and hailstones full of wrath shall be cast out shall be cast as out of a stone bow and the water by the sea shall rage against them and the flood shall cruelly drown them. Yea, a mighty wind shall stand up against them and like a storm shall blow them away. Thus iniquity shall lay waste the whole earth and ill dealing shall overthrow the thrones of the mighty. And so uh, this is in verse 23, 33, that's for the leadership structures on earth. And so shall lay waste the whole earth. Okay. So it's God's ambition to return with his elect and his angels to destroy the entire earth. Everybody with what it says here, they shall fly to the mark. Okay. The mark of the beast. And so, you know, this again, to me, absolutely incredible. Um, it talks about the sequence again, perfectly. There's a time of salvation. It's going to look strange to the world. Then there's a time of judgment against the unrighteous sifting, you know, the rest of God's left and right hand side. 
and then Christ returning with his elect to destroy everybody who destroys the earth. So uh, sequences here again at Wisdom Solomon 5. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.